First, make sure your ISC 9000 is in the correct sport. Do this by holding setup, press 5833 and then enter when it prompts you for a password. Go to option 2 for sport and make sure basketball, pro and solo are selected. Then continue through the various league settings. Just make sure PS names is set to off. The rest of the league settings you can find in the ISC 9000 manual, which the link will be provided in the description below. After the reboot, make sure you press clear for new game. To set your game time, press game time, then type in the value on the keypad followed by enter. If you're doing an intermission mode in between periods or quarters, press the int mood button while the time is stopped then type in a value using the keypad. This will overtake the game time section on your scoreboard and then to run down the clock just press run and to stop the clock just press stop. To adjust your home score or your guest score either press home score plus one plus two or plus three. You can also manually set the home score or guest score by pressing the corresponding home score or guest score button and while the field is highlighted you can punch in a number on the keypad followed by enter. At the end of your quarter, once your game time is zero, if you wish to continue to the next quarter, simply double press the period button. This will increment the period value by one and restart, reset the clock. To enter fouls, either double click the home fouls or guest fouls button. This will prompt you to put in the player number and how many fouls that player has gained. This will automatically populate on your scoreboard. You can also manually type in the amount of fouls by pressing home fouls or guest fouls followed by pressing the number on the keypad then enter. Single bonus and double bonus indicators will automatically illuminate based off of the values you've inputted in your IC 9000 settings. On default, single bonus is 5 and double bonus is 7. So when your home fouls are over 7 fouls, if the home side gains 7 fouls the guest side double bonus will then eliminate, indicating the guest team has a double bonus, and vice versa for the home side. To display the last foul of the game, you can also click home player foul or guest player foul, then type in the player number and how many fouls that player has gained in the game, and this will eliminate at the bottom of your scoreboard. At the beginning of the game, assign each team with the number of timeouts left that team possesses for the duration of the game. To do this, press guest TOL or home TOL. You will then be asked to type in the two values of the short timeouts left and the long timeouts left for either team. To activate your timeouts left, simply double click the guest or home TOL button. Now the timeouts left indicator will illuminate on that team side of the scoreboard, indicating that they have a timeout. To indicate which team has possession of the ball, Press the possession button on the controller underneath period. Then this will toggle between home and guest and the corresponding indicators will illuminate on your scoreboard. To turn off your controller, press and hold the off button on your keypad. Thank you for watching our ISC 9000 controller video about basketball.